Hello friends, welcome back to my channel One Blessed Mess. If you are new here, I am Christy and I am going to be a second year homeschooling mom of four kids with one on the way. And today I am going to share with you and do flip throughs of all things first grade for the 2020-2021 school year. I can't even believe that I'm saying that, but here we are already looking at the new school year coming up in a few months. We are going to start our school year in early August. So I went ahead and got an early start and got all of my curriculum in for next year. So without further ado, I'm going to show you exactly what we're using next school year, as well as provide you with a flip through of everything so you can see inside. So for our first grader, we are using the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts. Let me get that up there. This is what the cover looks like. It also comes with these phonics cards, which I have not um, tore out yet. And it comes with this level one reader. In addition to language arts, I also got this beginner books box set B. And we will be using this in addition to her reader to help her practice her reading. So let me go ahead and show you guys a flip through of everything. So let's start with language arts level one course book. And then you open this up. You see the table of contents telling you what all the lessons are. And it's telling you about how the second edition differs from the past editions. Um, all about the course, all the items that you're going to need, some commonly asked questions. All about the reader, how to get started, how to teach each day, the spelling, dictating words, independent practice, making it work with multiple children poetry memorization, just basically all about how to teach this course. And then here we've got the phonics cards and whenever a child masters a number of phonics cards then they get to color in the individual animal. And then these are sight word ladders. Whenever a child can read any of these sight words on the ladder without messing up, they get to color one of these animals. And I know my daughter Maddie absolutely loves doing that. So we've got quite a few sight worthy ladders. Okay, so here is unit one overview. It tells you what the spelling words are, what supplies you are going to need, uh, major phonics and grammar principles taught, books used in the level one reader, and writing and other principles taught. So it just outlines what you're going to be doing. And this is what each lesson does. It'll tell you what you need to do, and then it will have a little checkbox. So you just check it off as you go along. And I let Maddie check it off for me because it gives her a sense of completion. And so yeah, this is basically what the lessons look like. And I just want to show you how beautiful these illustrations are. I mean, I absolutely love the good and the beautiful for their amazing illustrations. And this edition is so colorful. We have a little zoo path here, little uh, activity, all about like some artwork right here. And I love how they tie in art with whatever the child is learning. Like they'll have, um, they'll have where you read to them about who painted this picture, and then they'll have you ask the child questions about the picture and read different words that are in it. So yeah, these are just some super beautiful. I love how they made it colorful, like level K has been and level pre K. Um, I know that they just came out with the new additions not too long ago to make them a little bit more colorful and I just they're just so pleasing to the eye and I know Maddie will absolutely love this. So in addition to the language arts course book, we have the level one reader. So that's a good side. 
So it is designed to go alongside the level one course book. We've got table of contents. And then we've got the individual stories. Oh, these illustrations though, they're so beautiful. So yeah, they just have story after story in this reader and it'll prompt you in the course book when to read a story out of the reader. So no need to worry about wondering like when your child is ready to read one of the stories. But yeah, just beautiful, wholesome, stories with beautiful illustrations love it love it love it and then of course we have the phonics cards so you just tear these out in the perforations which I have not done yet and I usually just put them in a baggie and I'll have a baggie that says uh, need to review or need to learn and need to and then mastered so I'll also have a baggie that says mastered so we know which ones she's already mastered this is in addition to uh, level one language arts, but I got beginner books box B and it comes with 10 mini books inside and you can see right here what the books are. And once again, just beautiful little wholesome books with some beautiful illustrations. So you can get that in addition just for some extra reading practice. Next up, also from The Good and the Beautiful, we are going to be using Handwriting Level 1. She flew through Level K last school year, and so we are going to use Level 1 Handwriting from The Good and the Beautiful, and I will flip through this for you as well. All right, now we've got The Good and the Beautiful Level 1 Handwriting. I have used handwriting for all of my kids, all levels, um, and we just absolutely love them. We started them out uh, last school year level K for Maddie who is th what this one is for because she's going in a first and then we started out my daughter Kaylin who was in third but is going into fourth this year she did levels three and four this past school year and then Elijah did levels two and three he was in second grade and we just we always fly through this because the kids love it so much so right here, it'll tell you all about it. This is super easy and super straightforward, but um, it will tell you about like what kinds of things they're gonna be learning. So right here, they're gonna be tracing um, some shapes and some lines. And then we'll do some overview of letters here. Just some extra practice with print. And yeah, there are little pictures that they could do dot to dots with. Um, they get to color this picture and that's what they love the most about this handwriting is the pictures that they get to draw get to color in addition to the handwriting practice like look at that beautiful picture that they get to color like they just get so excited about it it is awesome we absolutely love the good and the beautiful handwriting it's it's just the best next up for math we have math level one from the good and the beautiful we did the good and the beautiful level k last school year and absolutely loved it so we've got part one and part two here as well as this planner and the math activity box and i will go ahead and show you everything that's included all right, and now we have the good and the beautiful math one. These are the two math books that come with it. There's part one and part two. I will go ahead and flip through part one for you right now. So this is the first edition math. They just came out with this this past year, I believe. Um, and this just tells you what kind of math principles are followed and exactly what you're going to be teaching at a glance with Math One. Here's all about the course. And here is Section One. So, oh, I love, love, love how they are so hands on, how they have beautiful illustrations, and it's just so engaging. They have a daily dose at the beginning of each lesson, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, we don't always do every single thing in the daily dose. I found it to be kind of time consuming, but it's no biggie if you just skip over some of the things that you find a little bit more monotonous. 
Um, we, we will hit up the things that I feel like she might need a little bit more practice on, but for the most part, we'll skip uh, a lot of the daily dose just to save time. But here it's starting with the months of the year. And we've got equal and not equal. And we've got nice little illustrations. We've got greater than and less than. <laughs> Shark. How cute. So yeah, we just absolutely love the good and the beautiful math. And I'm excited to get into these higher grades now. Um, like I said, we did level K this past school year. Absolutely loved it. So I'm really interested to see what level one is like when they come out with level three and level four. What is that going to be like? Um, my kids did teaching textbooks this past year, or my two oldest did teaching textbooks, and they they loved Maddie's math so much. They said, I want to do that, so I'm praying level three and level four come out very soon. So here's a little planner that comes with the math, and it, they've got some monthly stickers here, and, and a little about me page, and she gets to fill in a calendar. I love that it comes with stickers. They had a um, calendar for Math K and it didn't come with like stickers and things like that. So I think that that will be super fun for her. And also make her feel like a big girl, I think. And then here is the Math 1 activity box. So let's open this up. Oh, it looks like we've got some wooden shapes here, 3D shapes. And looks like we've got some dye here, a little playing pieces, and some tokens. Got a tape measure. <laughs> That's cool. I'm probably going to have to hide that from her. She'll probably try to steal that. Okay, we've got a little clock. She'll be learning time this year. Got a packet of base 10 bricks. Double nine domino cards. So it looks like we have some game instructions here on how to play certain games for levels one and two. It looks like some flash cards here and some plastic wrap that I'm gonna have to break apart. And it looks like we have some stacks of 10 frames and I'm sure there's going to be other little puzzles and things like that in there as well. We've got Fraction pieces and my place value chart. So this is where she will, every time she does a lesson, she colors in part of her place value chart until she equals 10. And then when she gets 10 of those, then she'll put 100 chart in its place. So that is the Math 1 activity box. Now we are using mostly the good and the beautiful for our curriculum this year, especially our individual curriculum. But I also went ahead and decided to get all about spelling as our spelling curriculum. I wanted something a little bit more in depth spelling wise, even though we absolutely love the language arts from the good and the beautiful. I did find that our spelling was lacking a little bit this past year. So I wanted something that was directed for me and was all comprehensive for me, but was also a gentle enough approach. And I could, I've heard such amazing things about all about spelling. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip through this for the first time with you guys. I've never even looked inside. So we're gonna go ahead and flip through this together. All right, with all about spelling, there is the level one teacher's manual. Here is the student packet. 
And then this is the interactive spelling kit that uh, I bought separate from the level one. So let's go ahead and go through the teacher's manual first. I apologize for the lighting. The sun's starting to go down, so I'm trying to catch as much of the lighting as I possibly can. All right, so it gives you a little quick overview and preparing for level one. So it tells you what materials to gather. It tells you about the phonograms. Familiarizing yourself with basic phonograms, setting up your spelling review box. So it sounds like it really goes in depth with spelling rules and the different phonograms so that your child is able to put together uh, different words. Organizing letter tiles, six steps to teaching the all about spelling method. And then here are the complete step-by-step -step lesson plans. We've got the first 26 phonograms, so that is the first step. And then you determine which phonograms need to be taught, and it tells you which cards to take out. So in the student pack, they have the phonogram cards right here, and you just you know punch them out of their perforated lines, but. Yeah, so it takes you through all of the phonograms and each card is num numbered and labeled so you know, know exactly which step you're on and what number card it is. And once your child has mastered the phonograms, you use this chart right here to keep track of which ones they have mastered. And then your child will start putting uh, words together once they have mastered all the phonograms. So this just takes you through step by step through each spelling word list until your child has mastered them. All right, and so like I was showing you with the student pack, it comes with the chart that they will put, I'm assuming a bug sticker and then we've got the different color-coded cards here and then this spelling interactive kit it comes with whoop, we've got uh, looks like little dividers so that you know which cards need review, which cards are mastered, and which ones are for future lessons. We've got access to the Phonogram Sounds app and color-coded letter tiles. I think that this has to do with putting magnets on the back of some letter tiles so that the child can use magnetic letter tiles to spell out words. So I purchased that in addition to All About Spelling Level 1. And there you have it. That is our first grade curriculum for my daughter, Maddie. She is six. I will be doing a separate video for all of the things we'll be doing together, such as history, art, music, and science. So I will do a separate video for our family studies. This was just my daughter Maddie's first grade curriculum. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be on the lookout for my other two kids curriculum. They will be going into third grade and fourth grade. And I'm also going to leave some links below for my curriculum videos from last school year when I had a kindergartner, a second grader, and a third grader. And I think it'll be really interesting to see how my views have changed or how our curriculum has changed as we go along with this whole homeschooling thing. And this was just her core curriculum. I will leave those links down below for you guys as well. And be on the lookout for my third graders haul and my fourth graders haul as well as my two year, well, she's gonna be two, 
but we're going to start including her in on some things too. So a really gentle approach, but just ways to kind of include her more into our school day and get her involved as well with what we're learning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you're new here. I would love to have you and comment down below because I love to get to know you. So take care you guys and I will talk to you soon. You look so beautiful and I'm so lucky to be yours. And you take it.